De regreso aquí en Auto 060, y bueno, estuvimos ahí en este primer segmento hablando sobre el nuevo Buick Regal 2014 y la Cadillac Escalade 2015. Y bueno, al, a, al hablar sobre modelos nuevos, sobre lo nuevo que está llegando en la tecnología, en este segmento vamos a escuchar eh, la voz de Peter Honey, que es eh, un representante del consorcio que está desarrollando la tecnología para que podamos cargar, eh, recargar las baterías de todos los aparatos que llevamos en el auto, el iPhone, el iPad, el Blackberry, todas estas cosas que llevamos en el auto y requieren batería, ahora se van a poder eh, empezar a cargar sin necesidad de cable, simplemente con una, una plancha, una, una, un pedazo de, 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 de un aparato que, que se coloca en el, en el auto y permite que se carguen las baterías sin necesidad de cables. Así es que vamos a escuchar la entrevista que hicimos con Peter Honey del consorcio del Wireless Charging. Hi Peter, uh, we're with Peter Honey talking about the new technology for a wireless charging in the cars. So, um, how are you, Peter? Thanks, I'm fine, thanks, uh, Javier. So, uh, I understand this uh, Q system is, uh, I mean, it's been in development for a, a few years, I guess, and it's already, uh, or was planned already in a few cars, but now the, the technology is expanding to a, a lot of luxury brands, right? That's right. Uh, well, you know, when it comes to cars, you need a few years uh, from the time when you uh, decide to put uh, a new feature in, certainly like wireless charging, and before it can come to start of production. Yeah, and uh, for people who are not familiar with this system, even though we already had one of your colleagues a few months ago talking about it, can you explain briefly how, how to, how, what is this technology? I mean, it's pretty simple, but please go ahead and, and tell us how, how it works. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, Well, it is really simple, and that's the whole point of it. The, the, the now, Uh, with wireless charging, the car maker would make a space available in your car, and you lay the phone down in that space, and it will charge. You can lay other devices as well down as long as they follow the same wireless charging standard, but for most people, uh, what will be interesting is just laying their phone down, and then, it, then the phone is charging. So this is something that is going to be factory installed in cars, or is something that an accessory that's going to be maybe installed in an aftermarket kind of thing, or how, how does that work? Well, uh, let's talk first for the uh, uh, original equipment installed. Uh, already this year, earlier this year, we saw Toyota Avalon offered uh, with their car an installed wireless charger uh, here in the United States. Then uh, in Korea, the Sanyong chairman offered wireless charging in their car. And now, uh, it's just about to come to the dealers, is the Jeep Cherokee, and it has wireless charging installed in the car. Those are in the marketplace already. And uh, in each case, the uh, car maker has provided a space where you lay your phone down, and that's, uh, that's where you'll be charging the phone wirelessly. Yeah. And now, so the new announcement for wireless power consumption is uh, that Audi, BMW, Daimler, Porsche, and Volkswagen are, are getting this technology and going to be offering it in uh, 2014 models? That's right. Uh, so... Uh, Uh, those five companies together have an uh, organization they call themselves uh, CE4A, and it's an acronym for Consumer Electronics for Automotive. And so where possible, they like to follow a similar standard, even though they compete against each other. And in this case of wireless charging, they've been studying it for more than three years. And they've been studying the different standards that uh, are available, and uh, certainly all of the car, all of the um, parts makers who work with each of those standards go to the CE4A and explain what is the state of the art. And after this very thorough studying, the CE4A, after years, have now decided when we do wireless charging. We recommend our members use the G standard. Okay, so this is uh, something similar like to electric cars where the plug-in uh, plug is standard for all the cars. So this is the system that is going to be similar in every car coming up? Well, uh, that's the vision. And so maybe 
measure could explain how far are we towards that vision. Uh, when you count the companies that have gone public so far with wireless charging, we talked about Toyota, yeah. Sanyong, and Fiat Chrysler, and now we talk about, you know, the Volkswagen Group, Daimler, and BMW. You add these companies together, that already represents 30% of the world's vehicle manufacturing. And these are the companies that have come out public and said, when I do wireless charging, I'm doing it according to the Qi standard. Now, there are other companies working with, you know, companies like Lake and Implant and others that are developing uh, uh, wireless charging, uh, but, you know, we can't talk about them yet. And so I wanted to say, you know, this 30% uh, of the world's vehicle manufacturing that have declared they want to go with G, there's more working on it. It's just, you know, not out in the public yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then with you t when you talk about the Volkswagen Group, that includes all the brands because now they own uh, Audi, Porsche, Bugatti. That's right. So... Uh, uh, so that's why I don't double count the uh, Volkswagen Group and then Audi again. Oh, I see. And then the Volkswagen Group, Audi, Porsche, Volkswagen. Excellent, yeah. And uh, can you talk a little bit about this? This is a, a technology developed here in the United States, and uh, the, um, this consumption is uh, something based here in the States, or what's, what's the, the, the company behind it, or who is behind this, thing, this technology? Oh, well, uh, when we talk about this uh, Qi wireless charging, or QI is how we would read it, um, this is a consortium. Uh, it's a consortium that started in 2008 because no one company can just say, well, I've decided this is the wireless power way. Yeah. And so it's a worldwide consortium. There's over 175 companies now in this consortium, the Wireless Power Consortium. And so what you see is uh, uh, lots of phone companies are in there, you know, Nokia, Samsung, LG, how they are called. You see companies that are making the chips are in there, companies like ours making the transmitters that go into cars or into furniture are in there. And you see, and, and a really important thing out here, you see competition throughout there. And that's what makes, uh, that's what's so attractive to the car companies. Okay, if I see that there's competition in there, I know people are always going to be trying to improve. Yeah, it's fascinating technology. I mean, it's amazing what we've seen in the past, uh, let's say, what, five, seven years? Let's say since the iPhone came out. But uh, I think it's more amazing what we're going to see in the next three or four years because technology is advancing so fast, and this is just another example of it, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, one thing, just talk about the speed. Uh, with, uh, with cars, it's a little different. Uh, when you want to put wireless charging in a car, well, normally, on average, the car company makes that decision two years before start of production. And as soon as they decide, okay, I want wireless charging, they have to decide on the standard they want to use. So in the companies we've talked about, they decide the G standard. And then two years later, they can start production. And then they're going to run the car for the next five years or so. And certainly their customer is going to have it for about 10 years. And so uh, when a car company decides on, on what wireless charging they want to follow, what, what standard they want to follow, it's really a long bet. Yeah. You know, they're betting for the rest of the decade, okay, this is the <laughs> right one to go with. Yeah, you're absolutely right, right? I'm here now in Cincinnati uh, try, uh, trying the new BOE Gregor, and, and I, I'm talking to different car manufacturers. Their designers, their engineers, their product planners are, are talking about 2020 models, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> so, uh, right. technology. Uh, really, I said, you know, two years, if you want wireless charging, they have to decide two years ahead of time. That's the average. A lot of companies say, I need three years. Yeah. And a few can squeeze it out in one year. Now, two years is the average. Yeah. But uh, for consumers and for audience here in Autos here to 60, uh, some vehicles, uh, again, Toyota and uh, Chrysler uh, Jeep uh, Group, are going to see some of the models available already with this technology, right? 
That's right. Uh, Toyota Avalon, you can see it now in the States. And, uh, you know, very soon the Jeep Cherokee is coming to the dealers. You can see it there as well. Excellent. Thank you very much, Peter Honey from uh, the QI, uh, Q or Key. Uh, how? Chi, I'm sorry. Like the Chi technology and uh, uh, the wireless uh, charging technology in cars. Thank you very much for your time and information. Pues ahí tienen toda la información sobre esta tecnología eh, que está eh, siendo instalada ahora en eh, varios modelos nuevos. Eh, como decíamos, ya está disponible en el Toyota Avalon, en el Jeep Cherokee 2014, pero a partir de el, los modelos 2014, el grupo Volkswagen, en el cual están integrados eh, Volkswagen, Audi, Bentley, Porsche, también lo van a empezar a tener, lo mismo que BMW, el grupo Daimler, que son los Mercedes-Benz, los uh, Smart eh, y también eh, los uh, Porsche van a empezar a tener esta tecnología como nos explicaba Peter Horn ahí que es simplemente eh, los aparatos se colocan sobre esta plataforma una pequeña plataforma que va instalada en la consola central del vehículo bueno, donde lo quiera tener el, el fabricante la mayoría de las veces va ahí así que con esto se pueden cargar los aparatos sin necesidad de ningún cable y cuando regresemos vamos a hablar sobre los autos que van a, nominados al auto al premio al auto y camioneta del año 2014 esto es Auto 060 yo soy Javier Mota